Okay, today I will talk about something like you want to edit the time clock in your time attendance. Okay, you can click on report. You can look for something report called attendance record. Okay, now you click on let's say on this data 0111 to 019111. Just, just very, I just choose all and query. You calculate out, then you come to this section called that is record. You can just select all five, four, three, two, one. This is the third time, the third time to scan again. Okay, hello. Today I'm going to talk about how to edit your time attendant clocking. Some of your HR people want to change the time. Well, you can do it by click a report, click on other report, attendance record. You select all example. Let's say take all. Let's say I put a period from 0111 to 019 to 11 to 019. Okay, then I just calculate. Okay, you can see that there's a here all this this thing right here. You can see the serial number. That means it's take, taken from this serial number. Okay, it's taken from the device. Bear in mind, if you you can see this blue color here. If you go and click this one and delete this attendant record and append a new clocking, when you download the attendance log again from here, download attendance log again then it will come into here again okay bear in mind in that unless unless you delete the attendance uh, log record okay from the device if not it will come in again example we can delete attendance record just click like this delete it yes then you can append again add on again select for example like i go demo test i select it it's not it's a sub dish Okay, I put let's say on select clock in clock out. It's up to you. Doesn't matter. Okay, because this one is mostly for punch card purpose. But you can select any of it. Just select it. Click in. Let's say I put on twelve, eleven, and the time is this time twelve forty five. Okay, let me add it. Insert. Okay, I can so. Okay, now let's. We calculate again. Okay, calculate again. It's a dish. Now, example, I take it up and uh, just now we do a satish, right? Satish, okay. On 11, 12, okay, now 11. Just put a tick like that, arrange it. Okay. Let's see that, and on, and on, and on, and on, and on, try on. Let's go move forward faster a bit. Maybe try it a bit faster. Move on, move on, move on. Move on, move on, move on. Yes. You can see that just pass. Okay. Why I know it? Because it's blank. Once you manually type key into it by manually, it will show like this. It's all blank right here. Okay, you can delete it and add it through right here. Okay, it will reflect in your uh, report. Got it? So if you key manually, it will show this way like this. This one way to go in to delete and append your uh, time clock. Okay, there's another way is go through by attendance. Forgetting to clock in and clock out. You can set manually each person, select clock in and put in their time. It's just about the same, okay? Let's say I put on, I select the same person again. Is it satis right here? Can I find it? Okay, yeah, I find the satis. Okay, I put on 
uh, 12 11 and I put the time is 12.50 okay I put it at 12.50 and I add now let's look at the report again okay report it's like I did the records select all this time I just want to select subtage to make it faster dish okay then I put on 11 okay 11 12, no sorry 0 1 to this time 11 11 November I calculate one person so the report will be faster so each mic here okay right let's arrange it okay can you see that it's two blank now because it's manually key it will appear and will reflect in your report so please pay attention once if you delete this then record then record and when you download again it will it will appear again so bear in mind unless unless you clear after you download you clear the attendance records it's somewhere around right here okay but we don't mostly don't encourage customers to do that until they are really confirmed and download everything not that data are gone okay so this is not advisable to use unless you are very very sure you know what you are doing so please bear in mind before you delete all the attendance data in the device because our software do not auto delete the all attendance log in the device so please make sure you done everything you download all the data before you do this okay so this is how you're going to do about clocking if you're going to like clocking by yourself manually or you can do it from the report and other report call for attendance record you can do it from here so bear in mind on that up uh, that's how we all append it or delete the clocking time thank you